Daddario never really fails to impress when they drop a new product. Today, I have the entire new DB1 low volume drum head and cymbal set. And I'm about to show you what's up. So this is Evan's solution to low volume situations. At first glance, they're just mesh heads with cymbals that got a bunch of holes in them. But there's a lot more that went into it than just that. There's some unique technology in these heads and you know some unique design aspects to the cymbals. What they really wanted to do was make sure that um, the integrity of your kit is still there while you're playing it so that it feels the same, you know what I mean? Um, but you get the added benefit of 80% reduced volume. Now one thing that I noticed and that I really liked about the heads in particular is that it's not just one design that's a bunch of different sizes. So there's a different sort of design kind of unique to specific drums. So the tom heads look a little different the snare head design is a little different, and the kick is a little different. So they're just sort of tailored to, you know, what they're supposed to do. And all of this kind of stuff kind of adds up and plays a part in the playability of the kit. So let's take a look at each one of these, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So taking a look at the drum head, if I just kind of hold it up like that, it just looks like a, you know, regular mesh head with a dot on it, until you flip it, Boom, and then you see there's a little bit more going on there. So this is what they call their shock weave mesh technology. And then these guys are what they call kinetic transfer foam. So sounds kind of nerdy and fancy. Um, it all really just supposed to uh, make sure that, you know, you retain the feel and the playability when you're hitting your toms. All I can tell you is that whatever they did to it, it, it kind of works because when you're playing across your toms, it actually feels really good. Now don't forget, this is a drum head company, all right? So it's not just a matter of throwing these on your kit and then you got a bunch of generic lifeless mesh heads on your kit. You can actually tune these up. Like one of the benefits of um, having these in your kit is you can actually hear the tone of the shell. That's the thing that impresses most people when they sit down and try them. Now 
Now the snare head design is completely different than what they did here is actually pretty clever. So underneath the, uh, the shock weave mesh, there's a thin layer of, I would assume mylar, um, but they have all these laser cutouts. And what this does is it simulates snare sound. They call it snare sim, I guess is the official term for it. But what it does is when you're playing the head, it vibrates these little um, laser cutout lines and it simulates snare buzz. It's actually pretty cool. Now the kick head design is similar to the Tom, but the components are just a little different. So there's a much larger patch on the front of the kick head. It's got a um, plastic coating, so it's super durable. It's going to last you forever. And instead of the individual foam pieces, there's one massive thick ring of that kinetic transfer foam on there. And I was pretty impressed with the kick once I got it on there. It didn't take me long to dial it in. Um, but the thing is that when I played it, it sounds exactly like my kick, just way quieter. Now the cymbals feature a very specific spiral perforated pattern that apparently was extensively tested and researched um, before they landed on this one. But all I can tell you is that when you play these, you know, it's the same deal. Like they feel like your cymbals when you're playing them. They're just reduced in volume and, you know, still crashable. You can still swell on them. The stick articulation on these is wicked. But my favorite piece out of all of them are the hi-hats. The hi-hats sound freaking fantastic. Now, when I first took them out of the box, it kind of felt like the, uh, the bottom hat was a different thickness, but it just turns out that there's less holes in them than the top hat. So it feels a little bit weightier, which again, well thought out, right? As you know, the bottom hat being thicker accounts for a lot of the, you know, quality of the sound. So yeah, man, when I put these things on and started playing them, I just loved them. I would actually consider using these as auxiliary hats with my regular cymbal. But everything about these sounds great, man. The stick sounds great on the top. Um, the open hat sounds great. The splash with the foot sounds great. Like, well thought out. So you can decide for yourself if any of this stuff would suit your needs for whatever your situation is. Um, for the people that have been wondering if these heads will work with triggers, yes, I have been assured that these will work with your favorite trigger if you want to use those. Um, but yeah, for whatever situation that you're in, you know, you got a kit sitting in a practice room or in a basement or an apartment or you know, if you have a lesson room, these will be great for lesson rooms. But like I said, you can come to your own conclusion. 
I love these. This is a very cleverly designed set for low volume situations and I highly recommend them. Now, if you're interested in any of this stuff and you live in the US, I am a Sweetwater affiliate. All of this stuff is on Sweetwater right now. I think some of it, some of the individual pieces, at least at this present time, might be on pre-order, but all of these are listed on there. If you want to go check that stuff out, there's a link in the description box where you can go right over there and check them out. Thanks for watching this video. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Right there, subscribe button. Make sure you mash that before you bounce. We mostly do lessons here, but I do also do a lot of gear reviews and stuff. Whenever I see some cool stuff that I think you'll love, I show it to you. Yet another reason why this is the place to be. Share this video if you dig it. Drop a comment below if you got one. Like, subscribe. See you next video.